of the signs of a curse and a blessing is revealed in a person's state of mind. Many times we look at the person's finances, we look at the person's health, we look at the person's uh, relationships, we're like well there must be a curse in that. But actually the major issue where you can see someone has a curse or someone has a blessing has to do with how their mind is. You look at the Abraham's life and you see the blessing of Abraham. One of the things that makes a blessing of Abraham is the fact that Abraham did not live by his phobias and nightmares. He was a man of dreams and visions. When you become a person of visions and dreams, you become a person who already resembles a blessing of God on your life. You are already beginning the blessing in your life. If you get the blessing in your wallet, get the blessing with your spouse, get the, get the blessing in your job, get the blessing in your health, but your mind is not affected, my friend, you are not truly blessed yet. Most of you who were born here, you came into this world head first. And the women, they know here that one of the worst things that you can hear the news is when your baby's head is not directed toward the exit. And they have to do this thing called c-section why because you have to understand that legs you can't just get out legs first you have to get out head first and that's how god wants to get us out of every problem head first turn to your neighbor say head first turn to your other neighbor say you're coming out of this head first don't touch their head because they might fight you back you want to get out of a situation in your life you must understand you cannot get out with your wallet first with your wife first with your girlfriend first with your education first God first want to set your head free that's why we need the church that's why we need the Bible that's why we need books that's why we need classes that's why we need the school of leaders that's why we need podcasts why so that this thing get a uh, get get out of the mess that we are in and the legs will follow the wallet will follow education will follow relationships will follow our freedom will follow everything else will follow somebody say yes everything will follow we see that in the Bible when the scripture says that Satan blinded the eyes, the minds of people and they don't believe the truth. We see the scripture tells us that people can have an anxious mind where your mind is just so soaked with anxiety where actually your mind gets the name anxious. The scripture even says when people refuse to keep God and truth in their mind that they are turned over to a debased mind, a perverted mind by which they are led eventually into perverted things as Apostle Paul describes in Romans chapter 1. We see in the scripture when a man was demon possessed he actually ran around naked mental and when he got free from all of his demons one of the first signs that he was free is the Bible says he was sitting in his right mind. The scripture says that God has not given us spirit of fear, phobia, anxiety, depression, intrusive thoughts and nightmares but He's given us power, spirit of power, love and a sound mind. Somebody say sound mind. It's a clear mind. It's when you can think straight even when things are tough but there's something about your mind. It's a sharp and there's a la laser because it's filled with the truth. The scripture says when we renew our mind is where our mind gets an update and the renewal our life begins to reflect that by being completely changed. Amen. 